Welcome everyone to the Rip City Cards. I am your host, Jason, tonight. Tonight we'll be uh, correcting a little, not a wrong, but an issue that's uh, happened in Asia. Um, the last seven cases of Bowman Draft Asia that we opened, um, there was apparently some kind of sorting issue. Um, autos that we had expected to be in them, but were not guaranteed, were not in the cases. Um, tops and Bowman, because they're good dudes, good people, hooked me up. I mean, I'm sure that they, because of my stature, they immediately put a team together to get this sorted out. Or they were just cool dudes about it and and, uh, and hooked, a, hooked a brother up. So what they have done is they have given me 20 black refractor autographs. Now, I have seven cases that uh, these uh, autographs were missing from. So let's go through a little thing about how I'm going to plan to give away, you know, disperse these autos and see if we can't make this uh, right for everybody. This is... what I have right now and I mean stay with me you know if uh... <sighs> recycle your pets I don't think anybody even sells it anymore because like I I literally had I had to be in Tokyo to buy it or to sell it so but this is just um, how how this is kind of broken down. There was seven cases. One case went to personal boxes. So these eight people bought personal boxes from that case number one. Case number two, three, and four, KCT, all personals. Case five, a personal for Mr. Shane Hicks. Case six belonged to random number six. And the seventh case was a snake draft. The videos for all of these are available on YouTube. What I've done here is uh, written down cases one through uh, seven here. And these are the players that are included in the thing that we got eight or we got autos for. To make my life easier because seven does not divide into 20, I'm throwing a box of draft hobby in there somebody's gonna get that because I don't have an extra auto to give it just makes you know division easier so the ultimate plan is to random you know roll dice like we would do a normal random roll dice one through seven change this order up roll dice get the players mixed up so, what would happen then is, I mean, obviously we still have to do the random, but case one, if it was like this, would get the first three autos, being the Yankees, the Giants, and the Indians. So they would be set off to the side. Another random would take place between these individuals and those three autos and dispersed that way. The next three autos would be given to, well, not even the next three, but yeah, if it was in this order, the next three autos would be given to case two, the next three autos to case three, to case four, so on and so forth. Then, I mean, when we have the random and the snake draft, whatever team um, is applicable, uh, that person will receive that card for those spots. Does everyone understand or have any questions or concerns about the way that I have chosen to go about this? No, it does not recycle your pets. This is only the people that bought into, into these breaks. Um... Well, I mean, I, this is, it seemed to be like the generally fairest way that I could go about it. I mean, it 
So let's uh, let's take this off. I mean, um, it's it's somewhere. And of course, this is out of some order. Let's see. All right, so we're going to go through. I want to mark these off. I mean, again, I'm, this is like no joke time going to go through everything. Um, Max Wotel. First auto for the Mets. So we will highlight him. Ash Russell for the Royals. Jacob Nix, number one. Jacob Nix, number two. Is, <laughs> there you go, Austin Riley. Yeah, a long. These things were coming five in a case. Oh, there you go, man. Like five black refractor autos to thirty-five in a case of Bowman Draft Asia. It was just insane. So there's. Riley, Mr. Uh, Richie Martin, yeah, and out of the 36, like 37 cases that I opened, there was only like a dozen boxes that didn't have a colored refractor. Drew Finley for the Yankees. Well, I mean, you can find out whoever gets it. Didn't have a color at all. It was seriously crazy. Andrew Suarez. I mean, I've been half considering going back. Juan Hillman. For the Indians. Jeff Degano for the Yankees. It has to be opened over there. So you have to like ship the product to Asia, open it in Asia, and then ship it back. Like you can't do unopened stuff. Uh, Peter Lambert for the Rockies. Mountcastle. Yeah, there's usually, I don't know, between like three and six releases that Tops will do there where, they'll, where they'll be like Asia exclusive stuff. Mountcastle. Like uh, Tier 1 um, had red ink autos numbered to five that you could only get in the Asia boxes. Yeah, Kyle Holder for the Yankees. Let's make sure all this is on the uh, up and up. For the Tigers, Bo Burrows. And for whatever reason, Asia stuff seems to just be loaded heavier than everything else. James Caprillon for the Yankees. Michael Mutella. Um, there's like a, what is it, like a sky blue um, insert. 
I mean, looks the same as U.S., but it's nice stuff. Nah. How about a Kyle Tucker? I mean, fifth overall pick, 22 out of 35. It's crazy. And if one Kyle Tucker wasn't enough, how about a second Kyle Tucker? I mean, these are like four or five hundred dollar cards. We got a uh, Tyler J. I have not updated that, which is also a big boy card. And. The uh, Miami Marlins, Josh Naylor. So, at this point, everyone has seen the cards. have gone through them individually. We marked off on the sheet here that I'm going to use to do the random. What it is, I mean... So, let me get rid of that. We'll take, well, might as well do the, might as well do the dice roll. You can see that that's an eight without, before I even touch anything, but uh, this must be all on the up and up. Eight numbers, eight times. All right, so we'll copy that. You know, what? can I do this? Nope. All right, here's our whole sheet. So we'll drop into one of these randoms. There's my cases one through seven that I copied earlier. This one I'll just paste back down the one that we already went through. Um, should be 21 items when we do this. Doesn't matter what order. Um, eight times. Here we go. Uno. And there are our twenty-one total total items. Two. Three. Four. Five, that is number six, this is number seven, and eight times put us at Kyle Tucker on top, and the Giants, Andrew Suarez on the bottom. Let's go back over here to where everybody can see what I'm doing. Paste that down so there's Kyle Tucker on top and Andrew Suarez on the bottom. Now we'll do our cases. Again, cases one through seven. These will be going eight times. One. Trace. Quattro, you have nine, nine hits coming to you one way or the other. Six, seven, and eight times. Well, I threw I threw in a bot or a, I threw in some stuff, so it's. It's just how it goes. Let's just see. Okay, so this is the eight times. This is weird. Okay. Let me zoom this in a little bit so perhaps everybody can see a little better. 
Mm, too much. Too much. Can everybody, ba can everybody basically read that? Is that legible? Yeah, there weren't like any. There was no, uh, uh, no Connor Biggios. There was two Kyle Tuckers, uh, the Tyler J. Okay, so this is how it was going to be. Case number one. These eight, wait, one, two, three, four, five. The six people that bought into this one get the first three because case one is what came up on the random so one two three tucker austin riley and jacob nix going to case one case two and three as we have also established over here two and three are cases that means the next six go to that but we'll just you know we'll we'll go we'll sl slow roll this whole thing so this is uh there will be no question of what's what and what fourth and all that deal huh. oops what's cheap so that is peter lambert the other kyle tucker and bo burrows to casey then for casey's second case which is case number three which is what locks up here Naylor, Wotel, and Mountcastle. So now we're up to case three. Now, random threw us a little squirrely one here. We move to case five, which is going to be Shane Hicks. Gets a Kyle Holder, a Jacob Nix, and a Juan Hillman. Then we go to case number seven, which was the snake draft. Royals, A's, and Yankees. Wait, sorry. Snake draft. Since it wasn't even, we just had to, I mean, I, I threw that in there just to make my life easier. So now we're done with case seven. Case six was random number six. So that's going to be Degano, Tyler J, and Matula. And then again here, case four, the last on the random. The last of KCTs gets the Yankees Drew Friendly, a straight up box of draft hobby, and a Suarez. So that is where we're at so far. I have over here the uh, the randoms. I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm going to do the case one random in a second, but now yeah, it is. Let me just zoom out because it's going to be easier. So random number six is the blue one. So we have a Yankee, a twin, and a Ranger. So where are we at with that? A Yankee, a twin, and a Ranger. Okay, twins will... John is going to end up with uh, one of those. Uh, the twins. I had the twins. No, I did the twins. The Yankees, what I was looking for. Yankees, Sydney, popping out with one of those. And the Rangers. Stephen Smith. And that is the Stephen Smith. Now, the other one is the Snake Draft, which is the Royals, the A's, and the Yankees here. Who's got what? 
Royals going to HM. A's going to Chris. And Yankees going to Bama. Okay, so, so far, so good. I think we've got everything properly sorted out. Now we got to deal with the first spot. We're going to take these three. Make a new randomizer. Paste them down. We're going to take the contestants. Second randomizer. Randomize these. Now, again, same deal. We rolled eight the first time. I will continue to stick with that number. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. As there was eight boxes. So one, two. Four and five, six, and make sure there's no overage here. Eight. One for Matt D and two for Lance as the randomizer hates people, so. Let's put their names down there. Then the players. Eight times. One. Two. Five. Six. Seven. Eight times. Put Kyle Tucker going to Matt D. Lance getting Austin Riley and Jacob Nix. Any questions about what I have done here or how this has been executed or anything right now? I'd like to address while we're still alive, if there's anything. I mean, I tried to do it as fairly as possible. Oh, goodness. We have a question from KCT. And that is a... Alright, taking one on top. As Casey won, won a box. Let's see. Let's see what's in it. That was not as painful as I thought it might have been. So that's at least good. This is Bowman Draft, right? Finish this with like a super. That would be super. I mean, come on. You, you have to admit, Tops did do. I mean, did me solid with even giving me anything for this. But like I said, I mean, the autos only says how many autos in a box. It doesn't, you know, guarantee colors per case or anything like that. I mean, I know I'm like pretty big time in the industry, but at the same time, you know, they didn't have to do anything for that. So again, props to Tops for hooking me up with that, to allow me to hook you up with that.
Come on now, baby. And we do have this, I mean, unless it's completely sold out, another a third box. A third 30 spot PYT at Rip City Cards. Has anybody even heard of such insanity? I mean, serious. Two 30 spot PYTs in one night on a product that is not even like a release product. It's old. It's crazy. Thank you all. I'll probably only cry myself like halfway to sleep. And I won't wake up with uh, boogers all over my face. Not as many boogers, let's say. Maybe my eyes won't be uh, swollen shut from all the salty tear water. But let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still got awesomeness to pull here. All right, Chrome's papers. Chrome's cold Tucker gray paper. That more Chrome's, more papers, more Chrome's, more papers. Ryan McKenna, sky blue. Draft Knights, uh, Garrett Whitley. Crick, Fantasy Impacts. Benintendi, Red Sox. Impact, uh, Tim Anderson, Mr. Anderson, EJ Stewart, Ori Holes. Ooh, Braves, teams of tomorrow. Or today, the way they're making their trades, am I right? Am I right, folks? They're being bold in their moves. Where you at, baby? Right, guys, one left. Cody Poteet, sky blue. We've not even had a single colored number color card, have we? Ash Russell. All right, let's wait until the end. <laughs> what if? What if there's no auto? Wouldn't that be? There is an auto, and it's a refractor. James Caperleon for the Yankees. And there's that. There's that. And there's that. Thank you, everybody. Uh, for sticking with me through the uh, whole thing. Yes, sir. It will go out on uh, Monday. All.